But when you hear a coach through two weeks of the season speaking of an experienced veteran quarterback saying we need to exercise appropriate patience, what does that mean, Jeff? Yeah, ca caution. Right, like, like <laughs> if we're gonna if we're gonna be patient, why aren't we patient with a rookie? That that because if you have the vet in there, you have him in there for a reason. That you can make challenging throws at at, a, at uh, appropriate times during a football game. And right now, if you have him in handcuffs, not allowed to go do what he needs to go do, you're hurting your football team. So I understand why they went with Trubisky. I thought that was the best play, but not if you're telling me we can't challenge the Patriots down the field because they're really good at stopping big plays. I mean, there's a lot of good, but you still got to go attack them to open up that offense. I, I didn't love that. Again, if we're gonna if we're gonna be patient, let's be patient with a rookie. I mean I agree with you. However, I don't know if the patience is all because of Mitch or if the patience is because of the offensive line. Right. So Mr. Trubisky can't be oh. patient in the pocket. Ooh. So like if we're looking oh, at, at like that where you if, we're right looking, if we're looking <laughs> if, if we're looking for Mitchell yeah. to attack down the field, we gotta get some big dudes Come up front on over, that can baby. protect them. Come and on we, over, and we also gotta run the ball. <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> As you watch the Steelers, there will not be a worse win in the entire NFL season than the one the Steelers <laughs> offense got week one. <laughs> when Joe Burrow That's gave true. them the ball on, on seemingly every other play, and they right. needed 70 minutes to kick a long field goal right. to find a way to actually win that game. And right. then this past week, they do nothing against right. New England. Is the problem with the quarterback, or is the problem with the protection? Uh, I think the problem is with the protection. I think Mike Tomlin has earned our trust. He has basically given Mitch time. He's saying, listen, you got – a couple more weeks, man. If you don't really get it together, I'm going to go put Kenny Pickett in there. Because here's the reality. Kenny Pickett outplayed Mitch Trubisky in the preseason. It's just that Mitch didn't Mitch it up enough oh. to allow him to get replaced. I love what you so I just feel like what can, what can Mitchell Trubisky do that Kenny Pickett can't? Kenny Pickett has shown he can be he's athletic. He's shown that he can throw with timing and rhythm. And guess what he doesn't have? He doesn't have bad memories. That's the difference between him and Mitch. And I think if you put Kenny Pickett in there, it will be a spark for the entire team. But I, I trust Mike Tomlin, right. and I understand that he is seeing things that we're not, and he's trying to protect his rookie quarterback. Yeah. He's going to allow Mitchell Trubisky to run this thing out for a few more games, and if it doesn't improve – Pick it will be in Danny, there. what do you think? What, what are people around there saying? Yeah, look, someday Jeff Saturday is going to start listening to the rest of us about how important the offensive line is. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't get it. But, look, they, they, they don't trust the protection. I mean, like, there's no question about it. You can, you can see that. Uh, and Mike Tomlin is he's talking about patience. I think he's talking about the entire operation, the right. entire offense. The hope is the line gets better as the season goes along. And they think it will. They can't run the ball right now. No. He's getting – Najee Harris getting tackled in the backfield before yeah. he even gets to the line. So, so that has to get better. So, yeah, you trust Mike Tomlin. Obviously, he, he's been through – well, not necessarily this, Ooh. but he's been through stuff before, and he knows how to coach his team through oh, it. So he's saying if we want to sit here and call for a quarterback change on Monday after week two, we're, we're misinformed. He has more information than we do yes. about what's going on there, and a lot of that has to do with what he can expect of the offense regardless of who the quarterback is. Now, sometimes stats can tell whatever story you want them to tell. In this case, they can only tell one story. The offense stinks. So the question <laughs> that makes me think of is – we came into the season saying, ooh, the AFC North could be one of the great divisions, you know, right up there with the West. Well, the Bengals are 0-2. Mm, yep. The Ravens just gave a game away in ridiculous fashion to Miami. The Browns have all of their they problems, and they lost to the Jets. Yeah. They gave a game away. And the Steelers' offense looks terrible. Who is the best team in that division? Yeah, I'm going to go with the Ravens. Easy. I think they have the far better quarterback of anybody in that division, and they also have, like, a stable organization. I think the Steelers are an organization that's stable, but they don't have an offensive line or a quarterback. So, as bad as the Ravens looked in the fourth quarter yesterday, I trust them more than any other you team. Buy in anybody. Are you buying anybody in that division? I am Saturday? not. Listen, the oh, Ravens wow. have the worst pass defense over the last 19 games of anybody in the NFL. That is not the rate. Like, that is true. Give away a, you can't give away a 21-point lead <clears throat> in the fourth quarter. They have to get better, and it can't just be all about Lamar because at some point that we've seen injury, they're going to mount up. It's just going to yeah. be too I difficult. mean, and that's why those stats are so bad because of the injuries. Like, saying yes. those last 19 games, Thank everybody you. was hurt last year. So, that, and they are getting people hurt again this year. I understand that. But still, they found a way to be competitive last year. I trust them more than I trust yeah, the yeah. Bengals and the Steelers don't got the players. We'll see. Uh, th that division is off to a very <laughs> shaky start. Mean Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.